Hello guys, Ivan here and this is all new Mercedes AMG GLB 35 formatic. So this is the biggest compact car in the compact class of all new Mercedes-Benz and Mercedes AMG vehicles. So this is the biggest in the smallest compact class. So this new GLB is on the same platform as all compact class Mercedes AMG vehicles. It has the same 2.0 liter engine, which is really, really great engine. But you have now the practicality of a larger car. So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you this car, exterior, interior, and everything what I think about it when I saw it the first time at IAA, Frankfurt Motor Show. So guys, we can see here the name of this model. We can see that this is a inline four engine, 2.0 liter, and sprint from zero to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour takes only 5.2 seconds. And the top speed is 250 kilometers per hour or 155 miles per hour. So really this is a great performance for a small compact family car. And now we can take a look at this car. So this is a new color, all new color, design of Patagonia red metallic paint. It's very beautiful as you can see. So I would say this is like a wild red, Patagonia as the Patagonia forest. So this is really, really vibrant color. And later in the video, I will show you the galaxy blue and also the digital white. So these are the multi-beam LED headlights, the best headlights I have also the same headlights in my A-Class, but here you have different design. Also the LED daylight running lights have a different design than all other cars. And the name GLB suggests that this is based on the B-Class, but it has a completely different design. So obviously in the front you can see this AMG specific grille. And my opinion, if it should be there or not, is that if AMG thinks that this is a good idea, then why not? And in reality, uh, if you check like uh, owners groups of A35 and even normal A classes, you can see that uh, the owners put there this grill instead of the normal grill, grill anyway because they like it. So why not have it from the factory? So these wheels are multi-spoke wheels, very, very gorgeous. You have really great brakes and these are 21 multi-spoke inch wheels. You can see this design from the side and also from the rear so it has this car really has a big windows and in the back you can see this has really similar design to the gls so it's like a small gls in a compact uh, form and on the left we can see the amg mercedes in the middle and glb 35 on the right side so now we can open the boot. So when we open the boot, you can see this car has actually the seven seats, but the rearmost seats are really only for the kids, I think. But also you can move the seats, the rear seats as I'm going to show you now. You can move them front and backwards. Then you have a more or less space in these seats and also in the back seats, which are in the boot space. Everything is on par with the compact class and really, really premium materials everywhere. So let's close the door and you can see premium materials everywhere. This is based on the B-Class, I can tell you that. It really looks uh, similar to the B-Class, also the dashboard. You have this panoramic roof, which is on the two sections and you can move the seats as I said, this is a middle armrest with these practical cup holders, which you can put back and hide them. It's really wide. And as you can see, the guy put the seat down and then you can see how much space you have. You can put the seat here with this uh, toggle. You can put it more forward and then you have more space in the rear. But really, when I jump off the car, I will, I will show you how it looks, how the entrance to the rearmost seats looks. So mm, I would say really this is for the kids in the rear or really small uh, person. 
but then you have you don't really have a enough boot space if you have seven passengers but of course you can carry seven passengers around town without the luggage so my headspace is actually quite good I'm 186 centimeters or six feet and between one and two inches and I have a and I have a lot of space above my head so this is the cockpit which is very similar to the B class and yeah it's really really great I think the practicality of this car is why you would buy the car and also here you have some storage space USB-C ports charging ports overall my thinking about this model is if you have a young family and you are a young dad or young mom and for example you like A35 or you like the CLA 35 shooting brake but you think you want more practicality more space then I think this is the great car for you because you have the same performance but also you have a super practical car so actually if the rearmost seats if you put them down you have a 560 liters which in this class is really really big space it's more than in the Audi Q5 and the BMW X3 and it extends to 1755 liters when you fall down the second row so that's more than enough for the adventurous trip uh, and yeah you can put a lot of things there airbag is on the side and if you pull this strip then you can fold the rear seats and you can see that the entrance to the rearmost seats is not ideal but for little kids it will be fine so that's why I think this is uh, for the small kids so yeah as you can see I could jump there but I didn't want because yeah, it would look funny and there are many people waiting to see this car behind me so that's why I didn't want to jump there when I will do a full review at the dealer then I will jump back and <laughs> I will test it if it's possible for me but uh, yeah usually I would put their kids on or really small adult person so but everything is, is really good because you can have uh, these options if you don't want then you can fold them and you can have a rear really big boot space but if you need to carry seven uh, people uh, six passengers and you will be the seventh driver then why not it's a great option to have and you can choose to use this option or you can choose not to use this option so it's always better to have it than to don't have it so really the this the car is like inflated in this compact uh, class and it's uh, really really uh, very similar to the glc now this glb i would say it's a little bit smaller but not significantly as you can see there is a rubber so always the entrance to the car will be clean for your pants or jeans so that's uh, really great so inside it's like a hybrid between the a35 and the b-class because the dashboard is a little bit different on the b-class than on the a-class and, the, and then cla so you have two large 2.25 inch digital screens and you have also mbux system so everything what you know from the compact class is here but a little bit different design because this is like derivate from the b-class but most of the time this is the same and design as you can expect in this compact class. You have wireless charging and USB-C ports. You have this carbon trim, which is really cool and it looks really special. And yeah, all these lines, really, really nice design. You have a deep glove box. You have these digital hotkeys on the steering wheel. So really gorgeous interior so i don't know what you want more from a small compact uh, family car so i think this is uh, really really the the best what you can get for this uh, price point because then if you want a bigger car then there is a glc 43 amg if you want amg of course and but that one will be uh, more expensive significantly so i think for this price point you can go wrong uh, with this model you have a really nice uh, middle armrest with the storage and yeah really really great 
and I want to show you a little bit more about this car. So actually the engine in this car is 2.0 liter M260 engine code and that's also in 220 and 250 but in 35 it has different uh, turbos and also uh, this car can hold more power therefore so it has different uh, mapping of the engine so this car develops 306 horsepower 226 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque so i think this is uh, plenty of uh, power for this kind of uh, family compact class car from the rear you can see this new led design and from the side you can see this uh, boxy like a shape so this is really a maximum what you can get from this platform so really really great car a little bit it lo looks like an estate but like inflated estate if it makes sense and really like a hybrid of the estate and suv so really uh, at the first time that i saw it i was like mm, i'm not sure uh, if i like it or not but after like 15 minutes when i was walking around the car i really started to like it so uh, don't be like uh, yeah don't be put off by the pictures or something like that you need to see this in person because yeah it's a really great car for uh, it really makes uh, sense Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to Brussels Motor Show 2020 and here we can see the world premiere of the Mercedes AMG GLA 35 Formatic. So as you can see this is world premiere of the entirely new model of the compact series Mercedes AMG. And guys, if you like this video then give this video a like, subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. And I will post many new videos from this show and also other exciting videos. So guys, thank you very much for your support and let's get started with this car. So this car completes now the lineup of the AMG compact vehicles. So this is the 35 model, which we know uh, also as A35, CLA35 and other models like the GLB, which is behind this car on the display. So we can see the all new front headlights with multi-beam active LED system and it also has a specific AMG grille and the front and this new paint is called Patagonia Red and it is Designo or you can say Designo and that's metallic, special metallic shade so it really looks really nice and elegant in person and I really like this paint, I was really curious to see it. So I think it really suits the car really, really well. Specific A bumper. So really, really gorgeous car from the front. They're really aggressive for this compact series. And what I want to show you and what I want to tell you is this car, if you want and if you like A35, but you need more ground clearance, and then this is basically a great, great car for you. So here we can see some prices of this car and these are only recommended prices. So there may be some, there could be some changes for these prices. That's uh, what the guy told me. And there is in Netherlands and also in a French language. I think this is in French. Uh, so yeah, really, really, I'm a big fan of this car. We can see here this multi-spoke alloy wheels with AMG drilled brakes and Continental tires. So these are Sport Contact 6 tires and I will show you the tire size in a second. Maybe they will come in different with different tires like a Michelin Pilot Sport, we will see. And these are 255, 35, 21 inch and I think you will have also 20 inch possible but we need to see that. Turbo badge formatic on the front fender. So let's take a look at the interior so we can see beautiful MBUX display and we have two displays and also we have AMG performance seats as you can see here with the leather trim option two-tone which is a light gray and also dark gray so really really gorgeous seats they have huge bolsters and they are also comfortable so I want to show you uh, this interior here in a brief look so this car is in show mode so I cannot show you everything in full detail but uh, 
it's similar to A35. So if you are curious, you can watch that video and it will be more or less the same. So here we can see the front, how the car looks from the front during night. So this is great animation. I'm trying to um, yeah, launch the system, but we don't have a key and it's in show mode. But we can see we have two 10.25 inch displays. So these are MBUX system in this vehicle. And we have also AMG special menu. Right now it's in a classic mode. So it has like a blue shade, but you can have it also in sport and also in super sport. So we have a beautiful ambient lighting and a really, really gorgeous vehicle. So we have some menus here. This is for all assistant systems. So this car can have a Distronic Plus system and it can steer automatically on the highway. So that's pretty, pretty cool for this uh, segment of the vehicle because before we had it only in the C-Class and upwards, but right now we have it also in the compact class. And the AMG specific grill, uh, yeah, now it's like that. It's in also in the 35, but I think A35 with the facelift will also get this uh, kind of grill. We have this like a touch hotkeys and right now it's off but uh, yeah you have like a small displays there and if you touch it then it will change. Fully automatic seats with memory function. We have also seat ventilation and seat heating. And this car also can have auxiliary heating so it can preheat the interior of the car uh, via the app, Mercedes Me app. We have this new touchpad with the wireless charging on your phone and two cup holders and you have dynamic uh, select button which you can change the driving modes so really really fantastic you have two uh, zone climate control unit AC, AC unit we have a glove compartment and really these seats they have uh, like a little hole so it can be ventilated and also heated huge bolsters but at the same time it's pretty soft as you can see so they are very, very comfortable. Integrated headrest and they look just incredibly like a super racing seats. So yeah, yeah. Mirror with the light, so that's standard. And you can have also panoramic roof as an optional extra. And it is in two sections. So you have a separated roof in the rear and then you can open the front part. So you have beautiful ambient lighting, a really large armrest and 64, 64 single colors or 10 or 12 uh, multicolor options head-up display. So this is really packed with the technology. We have sunglasses compartment and yeah, this is just uh, on another level. And if you compare this with the predecessor, then we can clearly see the differences with the new model. So guys, now let's check out the rear seats and I want to show you how much space do I have? I set the front seat as I would drive as a driver and the guy which sat right now he didn't change it so yeah that's great. You can see the rear seats they have really nice support considering the rear seats. We can have also Burmester sound system so <laughs> really this car is so so good for, for, the, for this class and super practical because also you can put the kids uh, here in the rear seats and yeah, you have enough space for a trolley in the boot space, so just a fantastic. So here I have uh, quite enough space considering how I'm an adult person. As you can see, this is like 10 centimeters, like more than three inches of uh, knee room. And also for my arm, this armrest is really huge with hidden cup holders. So really, really pra practical car. Also, it's, it's quite soft for uh, rear seats. So for the headroom, I have uh, quite a lot of space and I'm 186 or 87 centimeters, that's six feet and between one and two inch. So I'm quite more than more than average tall person and I have a lot of space there. So that's that's fantastic. So you can see here how the cabin looks from the rear. So really this MG Performance steering wheel, it's, uh, yeah, it's really, really amazing how it looks and you can grip, it's really thick, this steering wheel, so you can enjoy it as a, yeah, as a dead driver if you want a, like a more enjoyable drive but still a family car, this is ideal solution, I think. Also the CLA 35 shooting brake, but I don't think you will have it in the US, 
so only you have CLA Coupe. So that's, I think it's a entry model for a family purposes, but still an AMG entry level uh, vehicle. So here from the rear, we can see similar design as the GLC for the tail lamps and also the GLE uh, Coupe. So really similar lights. Uh, actually the graphics is similar. So really uh, you can see little spoiler on the top of the fifth door. So here is the rear spoiler. It has like two inches, so it's subtle, but you can see it definitely. GLA 35 on the right side, and that's the badge, and on the left side it's AMG. In the chrome you can black it out if you want. And you have also in the middle a Mercedes star. So the boot is electric, 435 liters. So that's really, really solid boot space, a little bit more than in the A-Class hatchback. And yeah, I think it's sufficient and you have some net here. And yeah, you can split the rear seat in 40, 20, 40. And underneath and the floor, and the boot floor, you have a subwoofer, as you can see, and tire kit. No spare tire. So the boot is electric, you can press the button and close it. In A-Class hatchback, there is not possible to have electric boot. So this is great and yeah, it's convenient. Hopefully the A-Class hatchback in a facelift form will have electric boot as well. So here are the rear uh, alloy wheels and we have a 255, 35, 21 inch tire size, 21 inch alloy wheels, multi-spoke. Chrome trim around the window with the night package, you would have it in the black color. So you can black it out if you want. So let's open the engine bay and let's check out the engine and I will show you the engine and tell you the performance of this vehicle. So this shares the same 2.0 liter M260 engine. This is four cylinder inline cylinder engine. So you can see here the AMG cover above the engine and the turbocharger. Here is a twin scroll turbocharger. So this car develops 306 horsepower and 400 Newton meters of torque. That's 295 pound feet of torque. And in horsepower is 302 horsepower. So this car can accelerate zero to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour in just five seconds and electrically limited to 250 kilometers per hour, 155 miles per hour. Here you can see the cameras for assistive systems. So this car have all new technologies with assistive systems and with the formatting you have a lot of grip for your daily family trips. So guys, that's it for this video. If you like it, then share it with your friends. Comment down below what you think about this car. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.